तो इनके घर से हम औरतों के बेट में जो बच्चा है कोक में से निकाल के मारेंगे तो इन स्वरों की करो विदाई All right, just a quick video, kind of hammering on the thing of this idea, because I've heard it a lot, especially among what we call the counter jihad movement. Now, just a quick little side note, I'm not trying to like attack the people in the movement. I'm just saying, you know, that because they do a lot of good stuff, they actually cover the Islamic persecution of Christians, something that the the uh, SJW woke media won't dare cover because it goes against their their Islamophobia type of narrative. Uh, so I am I am appreciative appreciative of them for covering what the media won't. But there is there is a level of willful ignorance in that whole group um, about the fact of Hindu terrorism. I saw an article in, on um, what was it Geller uh, Geller report, where they were uh, it was called the myth of Hindu terrorism. And essentially, when you really get down to it, uh, the idea because there seems to be a very huge willful. And I've covered this in other videos, but there's a very uh, prevalent willful ignorance on the fact of Hindu terrorism, and uh, essentially. Uh, almost kind of a willful ignoring of actual terrorist attacks committed by Hindus in the name of Hinduism. Because the truth of the matter is that uh, Islam is indeed barbaric, bloodthirsty, and violent, but guess what? Hinduism is not any better. Hinduism is every bit as barbaric, bloodthirsty, and violent. Hindu terrorism is not a myth. It's just the blunt, cold hearted reality of the false religion, the Luciferian ideology of Hinduism, because Hinduism and Islam are just two sides of the same Luciferian coin. You see, the Muslims have uh, most certainly persecuted non-Muslims. That's true. I mean, uh, Buddhism, I'm sorry, the Buddhists, the, uh, the Christians, obviously, they're, they're the most persecuted group in Muslim countries, uh, the Hindus and Sikhs. And by the way, too, I'm not promoting any false religion because that's another kind of issue I see with the whole counter-jihad thing is pretty much anything that's against Islam is good. So essentially false religions like Buddhism, Hinduism, and everything else are good because they're basically fighting against the Muslims. Well, you know, that's it's essentially this enemy of my enemy is my friend mentality, which I try to avoid. But essentially, uh, persecution of non-Muslims, but then it kind of also, they kind of overlook the fact that Hindu persecution against non-Hindus is very prevalent. See, it's not just simply Hindus going against Muslims. The reason why Hindus are going against Muslims is because they're non-Hindus. So, it's not this kind of thing of, oh, we're going to form some kind of alliance against Islam. No, they've targeted Buddhists, they've targeted Sikhs. Again, not promoting false religion. I'm just saying that to say to act, kind of act like Hinduism is some kind of alternative, you know, peaceful alternative to Islam is not true. Because they've been persecuting Christians, obviously, uh, Buddhists, Sikhs, uh, pretty much you know, atheists over in India. So it's every bit as you know, you could say terroristic as Islam. Again, I'm not promoting uh, this sci-fi false religion of atheism or, you know, essentially the false religion of Buddhism because it is definitely a false religion. But it's just showing that Hindu terrorism against non-Hindus is a very prevalent reality. You just go to India and, and try to make fun of the Hindu gods and see if you don't lose your head. Because I've shown other videos uh, where they are going to kill those. They have already have killed those who have criticized or insulted Hinduism or Hindu gods. It's no less terroristic and barbaric than Islam. Because guess what? All of false religions, Buddhism, Hinduism, Islam, Roman Catholicism, guess what? When you're over the father of the devil, guess what? Proverbs 8 verse 36 and John 8 44. Death worship. It's all about death. It's all about, all about bloodshed. So anyway, I wanted to point that out. Don't be deceived by this, this false dichotomy between Hinduism and Islam. Both are just two sides of the same Luciferian Jesuit coin. And just both are of the spirit of Antichrist. Same thing with Judaism or atheism or whatever else. So may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ with all the brethren. Goodbye.